Welcome to the National Weather Service Des Moines Decision Support Briefing for August 20th, 2017. For the next 24 hours, we are looking at a possible threat for both severe weather and perhaps some locally heavy rainfall as well for tonight into Monday. We are expected to see some more thunderstorms developing later this evening and moving over the state tonight. Could produce some damaging winds and large hail, which would cause a damage to trees and property. Lightning may be an impact and also public safety to outdoor workers, especially for tomorrow. Locally heavy rain is also possible in some areas, which could lead to localized flooding, mainly in urban areas, and some rises on area streams and rivers. Here's a look also at the eclipse sky outlook for Monday. Now with the expected chances for showers and thunderstorms, it's likely that we will have cloud cover at least of partly to mostly cloudy conditions around a good share of the state tomorrow, especially if we continue to see some lingering showers in the morning hours in the early afternoon, which could obscure the eclipse over portions of the state for tomorrow. So for best results, uh, check in throughout the morning hours tomorrow for expected sky cover in your area. Let's take a look at the severe weather outlook through tonight. There is a slight risk across a good share of the state, including most of central Iowa, for again a risk for large hail and damaging winds. And we also have a slight risk covering the entire state for tomorrow for the risk of large hail and damaging winds as well. There's uh, also the possibility of some locally heavy rainfall. Now that could cause some isolated flooding, but again, we've been so dry across much of the state that any flooding would most likely be uh, limited to some of the urban areas across the eastern and southern and central counties of Iowa tomorrow and tomorrow night especially. Well, the summary again, there's a possibility of strong to severe thunderstorms for tonight and Monday into Monday night and also some chances for locally heavy rain which could lead to localized flooding and some rises on area streams and rivers. For additional information you can always contact us here at the National Weather Service through either the Storm Prediction Center, our decision support pages listed for you there, and also severe weather preparedness graphics which can help you plan for severe weather events. Join us also on social media sites including Facebook, also Twitter, YouTube, and here at the Des Moines office. Thanks for joining us for this decision support briefing for Sunday afternoon, August 20th, 2017.